Greetings family, this is Bomani Taiemba, live on Revolutionary Cam family. And we're at one of my favorite places, Kintampo Waterfalls. And we are ready to get wet. And everyone has their swimsuit and we're gonna get the history and a lot of information about Kintampo Waterfalls. And then we're just gonna have a wonderful swim. All right, we just paid all of our entrance fee for all of our tour members. And give you a sight of what the entrance fees look like. And the 20 Ghana CDs is around, more, around 5 uh, US dollars. So, a little bit less. What would say? No, we do, no, we do. Me back, me back. I know. I am not about what I see. Um. And our guide is going to introduce us. Up this year, the falls is in form into three stages. We have stage one, two, and the third stage. The water is having a source. Its source is 10 kilometers away from the first stage, and it is a source of spring water. Water coming from its source joins water at the first stage, and when it gets to the first stage, goes down the rocks before it gets to the second stage. And when it gets to the second stage, it moves to the third stage. That's the main waterfalls, almost at the two feet. High, it is two feet high, and it's the third highest falls in Ghana. The first highest falls is Wuli Falls in the Volta, the second Boti Falls in the Eastern, and the third is Kintampo Falls in B. But this is uh, a much better waterfall. Yes, yeah, it's the best. Be honest, it's the best. Yeah, it's water from it's not, falls, from joins the first stage, moves to the second. From the third, it goes and joins the Black Volta. From the third stage, it joins the Black Volta. The water flows throughout the whole year. It increases when it rains and it decreases during the dry season. About the water, the more people comes around, the more it flows. About the water, the more people comes around screaming, shouting, the more it flows. Please, whenever you are within this environment, you cannot use perfumes or spray. Whenever you are within this and, and environment. And when you are swimming down the, the test stage, down there on the rocks, they are very slippery. Mm -hmm. You can wound yourself with the deep cuts. So we, we are selling socks over there which you can buy and wear. And at first we are using one staircase to go down the main waterfalls. But due to what, due to what happened here, we have a new one attached to the, to the old one. The old one was 152 and they've added one, which is 153. And the new one is 173 staircase that we'll be using to go down to the main waterfalls and we will use 153 to climb up. Please, if you have a question, ask. Your name again, please. Paul. Paul. Uh, what's yeah. the other one? Kweku. Kweku. Yes. I'm going to call you Kweku. Yes, Kweku. How, how long have you been here at the um, Almost three years. Three years now? I'm yes. glad we yes. got you. Now, he said something happened. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, is that an accident? Yeah. I just want to help him up. Uh, he's one of the people that we trained for tour guide, uh, interior tour guide. Uh, there were a group of students who were swimming and then there was a, a heavy uh, wind and then um, the tree fell and some of them, you know, uh, got injured. Not the and, uh, tree, few trees. A huge one, a huge one. It was multiple yeah. trees. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, a cell cutting tree, very huge one. Uh, because the water has been just going around, so you can you can imagine the roots were exposed. So when the rain came in, just push it down. Whilst the people were swimming. Normally, when if they are swimming and there's windy, you have to come out. But these students were just enjoying themselves, and then, uh, some people got injured, and I think about two of people uh, lost their lives. So this place was closed down until recently that it was uh, uh, re. You have to get in and then exit. Yeah. 
formally, everybody has to go through this lane and then go down there. Now we have to uh, end, uh, in here and then out here. That's the reason why he's saying that uh, this place was shut down and there was an incident. So I just wanted to explain this. Yeah, it was it was a different number than lost their lives. Speaking of unfortunately, come again. Kweku was saying tragically it was 18 people. Yeah, that transition. Yeah, I said some people lost their lives. I don't. Normally in Tokyo. Some people. Yeah. Some people. Oh, yeah, people are gonna know the information on YouTube. I mean, yeah. we talking. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all what's on the well, on the net. It's facts. Yeah. Something to be with and pray for. So are those trees gone? Do we have to worry about the trees? Oh no no, we don't have to worry about it. They've cut it and then now now the place is safe. That's the key word, safe. So yes. are there any things that we should be concerned about to make sure that we're all safe? The only thing that you, uh, uh, we are safe, the only thing that you need to be concerned about is because the water pours on the stone, uh, some of the stones are slippery. Yes. And that, that's, so we have to take care. If you're climbing. Care. Yes. No, no, no. As you are in the water. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Climbing, descending, there's no problem. But whilst you are there, then you have to be just there. Okay, we'll just put it in the water. So we have to the next step to you in the water. You don't want to go in the water. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, yes, family. So it is completely safe. I'm going to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And we're going to make it a nice memorable moment like we did in October 2015. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was the first time. First time? Yeah. I've now swim about three or four times. Yeah. The rest I bring people just sit down. And then we went to Willie. Yeah. Mm -hmm.